Hey guys, so I promised you guys some wedding planning vlogs and here is one of them. The first one. So um, we have done a little bit of planning, but um, this specific video will be about my wedding dress and my experience at David's Bridal. So I went to David's Bridal, um, a bigger store about an hour away, um, about two months ago, and I had a terrible experience. First off, I tried to take, um, well, I had my maid of honor, one of my bridesmaids, her son, who's Liam's age, which is um, 10 months. Um, I had my sister, my mom, my other sister, and her year and a half old son, and then I had Liam. Yes, he's sitting right here eating crackers, so hopefully he lets me finish this. Um, anyway, it was just a terrible experience. We tried to do it during nap time. Everyone melted down. Um, the lady did not respect my budget at all, and my budget is like this big. So um, I was kind of embarrassed to even go in there and tell them what my budget is, um, which my budget was between two and five hundred dollars for a wedding dress, and that was five hundred dollars had to be with alterations and everything. Um, where I came up with that was just looking at how much money that we had, and I wanted to be able to um, basically pay cash for the wedding dress or be able to pay it off within a month if we did put it on the credit card. And at $500, I could um, work some extra shifts, clean a few houses, get that extra money. So that's where I came up with that specific number. Um, so when I went there um, to that David's Bridal, which was a larger one two months ago, she didn't respect my budget at all. She was pulling like $800, $900 dresses and um, wasn't really listening to what I wanted. It was terrible. So we recently went um, on Thursday, November 1st to the David, David's Bridal in my city, which is um, a smaller David's Bridal. We did not bring any babies. This time it was just my three bridesmaids and me, and um, it was a really great experience. When I got there, I told the lady that was um, going to be our consultant what my budget was, and I told her, don't run away, but it's between two and $500. And she said, okay. Um, I told her that I already had another appointment at the David's Bridal um, in Denver, and I didn't have a good experience. And she said that... Um, that was okay. I explained why I didn't have a good experience and yada yada. So, anyway, she was awesome. What? When I got there, they gave me um, three different magazines to get ideas from, look through. So, I'll show you guys. The first one was the Men's Warehouse because um, they're like partnered with or the same company as Men's Warehouse. Um, anyway, so the Men's Warehouse, so you can look through and um, get ideas of what tuxes you want um, your fiance and groomsmen to be wearing. Then she gave me the um, David's Bridal like wedding dress um, book to kind of look through and get ideas. And they also gave me um, the Vera Wang little magazine. Same thing, just a whole bunch of dresses inside. And then they give you a little welcome pack. It says David's Bridal. It's just like a clear bag. Um, it comes with a little Dove deodorant. But I thought that was really nice because it's kind of a cute little thing to give. Um, they have like a Wedding Stays by Marriott little pamphlet. Um, just talking about like finding a hotel and stuff. Then they just had a few like pam other pamphlets just like a whole lot of different things. Um, they have places that you can go and order um, sorry, your invitations. Alterations. Um, David's Bridal does not do free alterations. They do charge for their alterations. I don't know if any other um, wedding dress places um, don't charge. But anyway, um, then they give you a rewards booklet that have coupons in here. Um, one of the coupons that's really awesome is in the back, and it's save $40 off all of your tux rentals at Men's Warehouse. Um, and if you rent five tuxes, your groom gets um, his tux rental for free. Um, there's a lot of different florists, carnival, um, honeymoon, save 20%, um, save on his wedding band. 
photographer, shoes, just a whole bunch of different coupons. There is also a coupon in here for um, getting your wedding dress saved. Like, they, after the wedding, you pay, I think it's like $120, you pay to have it cleaned. Um, they, um, I don't have to go really, it's okay. But they, like, clean it, they put it in this box for you with this tissue paper that helps keep it safe, and then you can keep your wedding dress in this box that won't go bad. Um, and then just a couple more books. With some coupons in them. And that's all that came in the bag. So I didn't get any video footage of trying on dresses. Um, but I did get pictures, and I will insert them in and then talk about them a little bit. So, um, I was deciding between two dresses. It's one of the first ones I tried on, and then one in the middle. So I'll show you guys the ones that I didn't choose first, and then we'll talk about the two dresses that I was deciding between. So, um, this is the first dress. Um, it was just really simple. I think it was between, I think it was like $250 or $300. Um, it was nice. It didn't have any kind of train or anything. It just kind of reminded me of like, if I was going to like a Mexican fiesta or something, like what I would wear. Like, I don't know, just like a simple, like, um, I don't know, Mexican dress. That's what it reminded me. It was really pretty, but it didn't seem like my wedding dress that I wanted. All right. So, um. Here is the next one. Okay, so as you can see, um, another strapless. Um, I really like the strapless, and there was um, quite a few strapless in my price range. So, um, yeah, you can see this one has, like, it kind of, like, bunches up on the side um, and then has, like, a slit in it. Um, it was really pretty, but, um, and no train again, and... I don't know, it just seemed kind of simple. It was nice, but it just wasn't the dress. Okay, so now it'll be the two dresses that I was choosing between. And first off, I will show you guys the dress that I did not end up going with, but that I really liked. Um, just how it came off the hanger. Okay, so as you can see, that one kind of, the material bunches on the side again. Um, I really liked that. Um, it didn't have a train or anything. And um, it was really simple. This one was like $300, I think. Um, so in my budget, and that was good. But um, there, it wasn't like anything fancy. I kind of liked that. We were thinking about maybe putting like a, um, a little flower on the side of it or something. But then what we decided to do was put a blue sash because um, my wedding colors are blue and yellow. So I will insert a picture of um, what that sash looked like on it. And this... When they put the sash on, I was basically sold on this dress. So I'll show you guys that now. So I liked this dress. That sash made me love this dress. And I just loved the blue incorporated into the dress. And that I could wear yellow heels. And my maid of honors could be, um, my maid of honor and bridesmaids could be in blue. So I'm trying to keep Liam from touching the computer. Um, but they could be in blue with yellow heels, and that is what I wanted, and that's what I like. So, when they put the sash on it, I was, like, sold on this dress. Um, I'll put another picture of me in it. Okay, so this is the dress that I decided to go with. Okay, so... As you can see, um, it's a halter top. It has like almost like a beaded bra. Like the whole top is like beaded where your bra would be basically. And then it's not beaded down below. Um, and the material kind of gathers. And I think I do have a picture of a little bit of the train. The train is really pretty. I didn't get a good picture of like the train like spread out or anything. But I'll go ahead and insert if I can find a picture now. My maid of honor was putting the dresses on me because my consultant was working with another person. Um, 
like, working with me and another person, and Katie didn't mind putting my dresses on me. So anyway, when she handed us this dress, she, the consultant was picking all the dresses, though. When she handed us this dress, Katie and I looked at each other, and we were like, that's probably the most hideous thing I've ever seen in my entire life. <laughs> it was terrible. I mean, I guess it wasn't hideous. Um, and just so you guys know, I did try on about seven dresses. We just didn't get pictures of all of them. But anyway, um, in my price range, most beading looks really cheap and tacky. And um, so I wasn't really feeling a lot of the beading. And when we looked at all this beading, we were like, we had seen so much like cheap, tacky beading that I was like, I don't know. But it's not so tacky because it's not, it's almost like fun. Like the beads are just kind of put in any order. And I'll show you guys, um, she has it in Denver right now. So I can't show you an up close picture of it right now, but I will. But the beads are kind of like all over the place, kind of look like they're not supposed to be like super fancy or super expensive, which most of the other dresses that I looked at were like cheap dresses trying to be expensive. <laughs> so anyway, um, I really like this dress. I love the train. I love the way it kind of gathers up on the hips, the material. It just, it flows really nicely. It's beautiful. There was two problems with it. One, I was obsessed with the sash on the other dress that I showed you guys previous to this. Um, and it was kind of low cut here, and I don't like to show a whole lot of cleavage, and right now it's not, it's hard for me to kind of control because I'm breastfeeding, but, um, and so who knows what it'll actually look like, um, on my wedding day. Hi, sweetie. But, um, I didn't like a lot of cleavage. So they were putting like, they have these things called modesty panels and they basically can like sew in two panels and it came up to like here when they put the panels and it didn't look very good. Um, then they tried, Katie just put one across the edge and honestly after doing all that we were looking at the dress and we were like well honestly it's not that much cleavage, it doesn't look tacky, it doesn't look bad, it doesn't look like I'm you know trying to be a hoe or anything so we'll go ahead and just like leave it like it is because it's really beautiful um so anyway Katie and I thought the dress was hideous we put it on and Katie was like I actually kind of like it and I was like looking down sorry I was like looking down I'm like really you like it are you sure I kind of looked and I'm like I don't know let me see it in a mirror so we walk out to the mirror and I really liked it it fit my body my body size really well it fit um everything really well <laughs> you're okay um anyway so I was telling the consultant that I really like the sash on the other one and Katie was like let's just put a sash on this one we tried to put a sash on it it looked terrible and the consultant was like no 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 let me show you how to put the sash on so she put the sash on it and I was like sold it's everything that I wanted so I will insert a picture now of me with the sash and everything on it. So excited. I love this dress. Um, I'll insert in another picture of me in it. It's kind of a fuzzy picture, but... Um, anyway, that's me jumping up and down because I was like really excited. And the most exciting part about this dress is the price. It was $150. Yeah, below my budget. And there's no alterations needed. Um, the other thing about that other dress that I was looking at is that um, I was in bare feet when I was trying on dresses. And, okay, I'll go ahead and insert in a picture of the two dresses that I liked next to each other. Um, mind you, they will, the one that I chose is on the, um, see, it's on the right hand side and it doesn't have the sash on it in that picture, but it will have that blue sash that's in the left hand picture. Okay. All right. So I was in bare feet and it was perfect length to the ground, but I'm going to be wearing heels. And when I put my heels on, um, it was about two inches too short. So they can order it in a longer size, but that's 50 extra dollars to order it in a larger size. And the dress was already $300, which was in the middle of my budget. But the other dress that I chose to go with, the like halter top one, was $150. 
It was a little bit long, but if when I put heels on, it was the perfect length, so no hemming needed. Um, all we have to do is we're going to add that little sash to it, and it's done. Like, for $150, <laughs> I got my dress. Um, anyway, I'm just so excited. Um, it was a great experience. It was kind of sad. Like, I kind of wish that I had, like, tried on more dresses, but she brought about eight dresses over. Sorry, Liam was crawling away. She brought about eight dresses over, and um, she stayed in my budget, which is really nice. So the eight dresses that she brought over, there was no more in my budget. Um, she didn't bring me any dresses over $400. It was like $450 was the most expensive dress that she brought me. But, I mean, it would have been kind of fun to try on, like, more dresses, but I didn't want to try on dresses outside my budget because that would be, one, wasting her time and wasting my time because um, I wouldn't be able to afford them. So that is um, the dress that I decided to buy. So I um, put it on our credit card because for $150, I can pay that off next week. Um, and so when we bought the dress, um, David's Bridal gave me a... $20 Shutterfly gift card, and it's good until um, June 25th, 2013. It's actually good till after my wedding. <laughs> um, anyway, but um, I decided to order some Save the Date cards. So I ordered some Save the Date cards with this. I ordered <laughs> some of Liam's birthday invitations, and Shutterfly was having a deal last night until midnight that they give you 101 free prints. You just have to pay shipping. So I got um, 25 Save the Dates. Because we're having like a really small wedding and um, there's probably only going to be like 50 to 70 people there. So um, 25 was fine because my close family doesn't need to save the date. Um, so I got 25 save the dates. I got 12 invitations for Liam's first birthday. I got 101 prints and I paid like 13 bucks. So really great. I also went ahead and bought some of their swatches because they, like I said, work with Men's Warehouse. So if you match or choose to buy bridesmaids dresses there, they will guarantee the colors, and then they can match your groomsmen or the bridesmaids. But anyway, you can buy their swatches. So this is the blue swatch that I bought. Um, it's called Horizon, and um, it comes in a bigger. It's for it was for a dollar, and it comes in a bigger swatch. But I cut it in fourths for me and my three bridesmaids to have, so um, they can match their shoes and their dress to the color. Because um, I'm not making them buy dresses at David's Bridal or making them buy specific dresses. They just have to um, all buy the same length. So I told them, discuss amongst yourself if you want long or short, but please just buy like all like knee length dresses or all long dresses. Um, and then I also got the Sunbeam. There we go. Um, sunbeam color because that is my yellow color that I'm going to use. And again, we cut it um, in fourths. Well, this is only in half right now because... I haven't given the other piece to my third bridesmaid. So, anyway, um, got a dress at David's Bridal with a great experience for $150. I got two swatches, um, and I did not buy the dress um, preserving kit. They offer it to you for $100 when you buy um, your dress. I did not buy it then. It's $180 if you want to do it later, and then they ended up giving me a coupon in that book for it to be 120. Thank you for my phone, Bubba. So, um, I will probably end up doing that, but just not right now. Maybe. I don't know. I mean, I don't even know if a $150 dress is worth saving, but it is going to be my wedding dress, so <laughs> maybe I'll have, like, some severe attachment to it. Um, yeah. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this first vlog talking about David's Bridal and my experience with them and my experience wedding dress shopping with my tiny little budget. So, Leave any comments or questions below, and I will continue to update you guys on my wedding plans and um, keep you updated with um, everything we're doing. All right, guys. Have a great day.